Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to add a custom domain to your Azure CDN endpoint. And this video will show you how to add a custom domain to an Azure Content Delivery Network endpoint. When we use a CDN endpoint to deliver content, a custom domain is necessary if we would like to our own domain to be visible in your CDN URL. So I have to log on to my GoDaddy account and use one of my test domain to add a CNAME entry pointing to my CDN profile name. So let me just first log on to GoDaddy and proceed further. So I am logged on to my GoDaddy account and I have a temporary domain stoppinglazyperson.com. So what I'll do, I will create a CNAME entry, type in as CNAME host would be my this domain stoppinglazyperson.com I can mention at as well right the parent domain itself and it can point to my CDN endpoint which is this profile so rather than creating uh, an ad, I added stopbeinglazyperson.com, which points to my CDN endpoint. I'm sorry, I said that we have to map it to CDN profile, but I'm mapping it to CDN endpoint. I will leave the TTL as one hour. Okay, now that we have added it, and we will associate the custom domain with your CDN endpoint. So let's go to the CDN endpoint in the Azure portal. and you see custom domains under settings click on custom domain and point host name is this custom host name enter the custom domain including the subdomain as we did earlier so it would be Let's see if it works. Lazyperson.com. You couldn't find a DNS record for this. It points to this. Oh, because it takes time for the CDN to map to this setting. And that is why it is not giving me that option. I made a small change in the DNS as well. Uh, rather than pointing it to the Azure endpoint profile name, I pointed it to CDN verify. I added CDN verify dot then the Azure endpoint name. I clicked on save. So if I would check the DNS checker, just to be sure, the propagation tool, just to check if it's pointing to what to my CDN profile or not is not propagated. So this is this is the process that you have to do. I'm sorry I'm not able to do it because of the changes in my code addy, but this is how you do it. When you will add it, you'll be able to resolve it and it would point to your test profile endpoint name. And you can verify it by ensure that the public content that is cached at the endpoint. For example, for if your CDN endpoint is associated with a storage account, as your CDN will cache the content in a public container. To test the custom domain, verify that your container is set to public access. So if you would go to your storage account and this is the container, it should be accessible. If you have any containers here, I think if you make a test container it should be allowed container read access anonymous read access with blob make sure that it is publicly available and in your browser you can navigate to the address by the file that is present in the blob and the URL to be cached so if it will result to your stopping lazy person dot com let me try it again if I'm able to do that 
I'm running a custom domain. My custom domain is not resolving due to the propagation failure in the DNS checker as well. So you got the idea how it will work. So I'll, I'll get back to you in the next video. We'll probably do, a, we'll configure the HTTPS. We'll try to configure the HTTPS on the Azure CDN custom domain, though it has not worked for us. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any queries, any concerns, please mention that in the comment section. I'll, I hope you like this video as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.